Uh, my name is Lori and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana and I have a, I have a strong family around me. I have um, a biological family from um, my father and my mother and then I also have a, a strong support network of chosen family around me. But then I also have a new generation of family. I have a two-year-old son and I consider him and his father to be um, another aspect, the next dimension of family. And I wanted to be able to share my story about the effect of um, prison and policing policies that intentionally break up families. And I witnessed it and experienced it firsthand. Um, I, I'm going to use language that the system uses. I'm not meaning to offend anyone, but my son and his father were um, are picking up and going from daycare, and the police stopped us and racially profiled us as um, and, cl and called me a crackhead prostitute and claimed that he was serving me drugs when that was not the case. And um, the police officer then planted intentionally planted drugs on him right in front of my face, claimed that they came out of his pocket and. When I th spoke up and said, you know, that I was witnessing this, and he threatened to take the, you know, that he would call child services and take my child away from me, so that kind of silenced me right then and there, and then, you know, took him to jail. And so we are parenting from afar, um, or he's parenting, you know, from from being inside. But the the thing that that hits it is. Um, the police officer, as I was walking away from this with my six-month-old in the car seat, the police officer walks up to me and says, you know, your partner's an asshole and he deserves to grow up without a daddy. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to be able to share that with people and, and connect that with the larger intention of the prison industrial complex and how it intentionally tries to break apart families when you know prisons are supposed to be supposed to be places of rehabilitation but then they're using them to intentionally break apart family and then they create policies that in, impede people from even creating other support networks and um, yeah I think that's